We have microphones and lots of opinions. This is Free Therapy with the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show. All right, good morning, Natalie. Hi, good morning. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Will you go ahead and walk us through what you messaged us? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll give a little backstory before I dive into it. So, basically, my brother-in-law borrowed our lawnmower, uh-huh. and he broke it, like, three years ago. Yeah. Uh-oh. And, yeah, and, and here's the thing is that we couldn't repair it, and we had to get a new one, and then nor my sister offered to pay for it or offered to fix it or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, we were a little off but whatever we wrote the cost off and kind of just agreed not to let them borrow anything else okay uh, but then at the beginning of the year my husband told my brother-in-law no when he asked to borrow our trailer to move his storage unit and so he ended up having to rent a u-haul mm-hmm. anyways here we are i recently left my niece borrow it to new stuff and this just like off my sister and my brother-in-law and um just the fact that you know we let her use it and we didn't let her use it uh-huh. and so my husband told him just like okay you borrowed our box for three years ago and you broke it and that happened and um they were like oh that was three years ago we were just being petty and blah 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 and now they won't talk to us and I don't know what to do because I don't want this to turn into some big thing where it's like they're not talking or what, but I kind of just want to hear like what other people think about this. So your uh, sister and brother-in-law are mad because you allowed your niece to borrow uh, this trailer when you made them rent a U-Haul and now they're not talking to you guys and calling you guys petty for a lawnmower that they broke of yours three years ago. Did I get on it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good recap. Wow. That helps. Just, uh, All right. That's a lot. What? I mean... Uh, I, listen, I, I I will say that I have been on the other end of uh, borrowing uh, things, power items, and um, breaking them. And so I, I I think you know obviously hindsight's twenty twenty. They, they should have offered to pay for it back then, or oh, sure. at least pay to fix it. But for sure, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't know, I. I Outside of just telling them to get over it, I, I don't know. I know. I don't know. What this is say. tough because it's family. I know, right? And you just you, there's a delicate way to handle these things. Well, Natalie, there's some people texting in, so um, you know maybe they can help guide you in how you respond. But uh, at you know, uh, hopefully um, it won't the divide won't grow too big between you guys. And uh, thanks for letting us kind of try to work this out for you. Yeah, thank you. It's a really tough situation. So yeah. I love what people say. Yeah, JR is kind of saying what I was saying. is like, hey, they're, they're going to get over it. Uh, Chris texts in and says, ha ha, the banjos in the background are so wrong, but absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is kind of like a... A little right? bit. A little bit of a... But our family feud stuff. Yeah. Greg texts in and says, the people who break stuff and won't pay for it, uh, quit, ta- quit talking to them. I don't see a problem. Well... They are family. That's so the problem. Is, yeah, I was gonna it's say, hard to stop talking to family. To family, for sure. All right. If you have an opinion, and I know everybody does, uh, 502-571-9970, you can always text or call, or you can always post it up at Ben and Kelly Show. <laughs>
And um, our rule is, and I agree with this with my husband, you never loan anything to anybody who you know cannot afford to replace it if they break it. Ah. Okay. So, well, that was kind of fall. Natalie's thinking when they said, no, you can't use the trailer because they broke the lawnmower three years ago. <laughs> yeah. But they're, yep. they're mad about that because they did let someone else borrow it. You know, so it's uh, it might be jealousy versus being angry. Yeah. Uh, just because they may be fully aware of what their situation is and how big a jerk they are. Oh, well, thanks, Dora. Uh, Anita, she texts in and says, my husband and I don't let anyone borrow stuff unless they can afford to pay for it if it gets broken, family or not. So uh, kind of a theme here. So, But I feel like you need to set that precedent before, before. you yeah, allow them to borrow it. <laughs> Say, hey, just, you know, FYI, if you break it, can you pay for it? Right. Uh, Which is awkward. Like, I couldn't imagine saying that to my sister. Like, now this is an expensive drill. Yeah. Right. Russ yeah. texts and says, are these people like five SMH? <laughs> no. It's just, yeah, no. It's just like family feud stuff, I, I guess. I don't it. know. And, and you don't know how to approach it because it's family. It's delicate. When it comes to, like, money or stuff, like, that's expensive, that can get dicey. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, if you want to continue commenting, Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show. You break a plate or something, it's easily replaceable. But a lawnmower is a little bit more expensive. I get why they're a little what, upset. Ha, have you, what's the most expensive thing you've broken that wasn't yours? I've, I, I've broken so many, like, window panes and things when I was littler. Like, whether throwing in my, the newspaper, because I was a newspaper carrier, uh, or, like, throwing a baseball or football through someone's uh, window... I crashed my parents' car. That's pricey. That's pricey. And before I turned 17. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I... They were just happy I was okay, though. So right, it was right, right, fine. right, right, right. I mean, accidents for cars, but, like, something that you borrowed. I remember, um, I, I think I had broken, uh, like, a, a weed whacker. One of those, like, gas-powered weed whackers. I couldn't get it to work. Uh-huh. But I think it was only one of those things where I, like, flooded the engine. Okay, then you do you hand it back and say, you know, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. That's it's exactly what I did. Are you lending me <laughs> a faulty piece no, of equipment? No, I, 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 I gave it back and I was like, yeah, it was working for a little bit and then it stopped working. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, like I, I said, don't know, again, I don't know if we helped. I don't think I don't think we I don't think we did necessarily, <laughs> but you know, we just <laughs> opened up perspective to it. Yeah, there's like, well, they're just being jerks. See you at the family reunion. There you go. That's free therapy on 9970JX.